the Bugaboo B6 compared to the Bugaboo Ant. Now the Bugaboo B6 used to be Bugaboo's travel small nimble stroller, but about two years ago they came out with the Bugaboo Ant, which is a true travel small compact mini micro stroller. Um, but it still may be a stroller that you are comparing and you may be wondering what the differences between the two of them are. And in this comparison, I compare these strollers side by side to help you out. Now, if this is your first time at Magic Beans videos, welcome, I'm Ellie, I'm your host. Um, you should definitely subscribe today to see more content like this. But the, if you have your own personalized questions, things you are, want to know about um, for yourself, that's what we're here for in Magic Beans. We're here to help expectant parents and parents figure this all out. So you can go to mbeans.com slash consultations and book a free virtual consultation. You can email me your questions to questions at mbeans.com. You can give us a call or leave a comment below. So here is the Bugaboo B6 compared to the Bugaboo Ant. I have the Bugaboo B6 and the Bugaboo Ant. Now the Bugaboo B6 came out over 10 years ago and it was like touted as Bugaboo's lightweight stroller, but we all knew that it was about 20 pounds and though you could use it as a lightweight stroller, it wasn't one of these under 15 pound strollers. Um, about two years ago, they came out with a Bugaboo Ant, which was is Bugaboo's first true mini micro stroller. Now you may be looking, still be looking at the Bugaboo Ant, um, sorry, the Bugaboo B6 as your travel stroller or your all purpose stroller be comparing the two. So let me show you the differences between these two strollers. As you can see from um, physically, um, the Bugaboo Ant is much smaller than the B. Um, and that means that the B is gonna be better as an everyday stroller. Now you could use the Ant as your everyday stroller, but um, if you're looking for something that could really do everything, I would definitely look at the B. Um, they are, they both really maneuver quite nicely. The Bugaboo B6 now has seven inch wheels, so it has larger wheels than the Ant, which you see has really small wheels on the front and a little bit larger wheels on the back, but both of those wheels are smaller than the B. Um, both seats turn in both directions, which are is really great, but that happens in a different way. Let me show you how that works. For the B, what you do is you put on brake, and you do the little pull on the back, you just pull it all the way forward, and then you lift the seat out, turn it around, and then you pop it back in. And now you can have the baby facing you. Um, both This is newborn compatible. They also have a belly bar on the Bugaboo B6. Um, in terms of the ant, this is how the ant turns around. Um, it is a, um, it's like a pretty cool sort of turning around situation. So what you do is you push this down, you close the seat in on itself, fold it over, pull it out, turn it around, and it turns around quite nicely. And then you just pop this back up, and you're good to go. Um, I think that the mechanism on the ant turning around is actually really, really smart and really, really easy. Um, that's not to say the B is, is more difficult, but I think in terms of turning it around, I just love the engineering on the Bugaboo. Now, one of the reasons why you get a Bugaboo stroller, and it used to be the Bugaboo strollers were like a lot more expensive than every, every other stroller, but in this day and age, the Bugaboo strollers are about the same price, more or less than other brands of strollers. So it's definitely some a brand that you should be considering because the delta between the two different prices is really not that great. Um, but the thing about the Bugaboo strollers is that they are designed from the ground up with a designer and engineer um, in Amsterdam, and they um, are able to make really cool, sophisticated um, strollers. And these sort of turning around the seat mechanism is just done really, really beautifully. And because they design and they engineer it, there's continual, continual improvement on their products, which I think is really cool. Um, both strollers, you have the ability to fold with the baby facing you. Okay, I'll turn the seat around, push it in, push it down, fold it over, turn it around. Hey Ellie, you make it look so easy. Actually, it really is easy. And now you're in the forward facing position with the B. Again, same thing. Let's see here. Pull it out. You sort of hold it from the back here. Really the best place to hold it. And then you just sort of put line up the mechanism and 
you're good to go. To fold them down with the B, you push your thumb here, pull here, and this kind of memory buttons, you can do with one hand if you wish. Then you push the other on and it goes, folds right down. There is a stand that they have included with the B, so it stands on its own. Um, in terms of the ant, this is how the ant folds down. Again, push it in, smoosh it closed, fold it over, right? That's step one. Then what you do is you, there are these white um, sort of pulls on the side, you pull, and it goes in like that. And now it's actually like a rolling bag, which is actually really cool. I can actually just put the brake on, so I'll take the brake off. And now you can sort of roll it around like a, like your favorite piece of luggage, like in a way bag. But you stand it up, and then you push it straight down, and then you push it to fold it over. And now it is, again, super light and compact. See how small that is? And you can actually see it side by side with the B. It is much smaller. So if you're gonna put this in your trunk or the overhead compartment of an airplane, this works in the overhead compartment of an airplane, and the, um, the B does not fit in the overhead compartment of the airplane, and voila, I just saved myself a number of comments on the channel. By the way, I moderate all the comments on below, so definitely leave a comment, say hi, tell me if you like the video, ask a question, I'd love to hear from you. Oh, you can also book a free virtual consultation if you wish, if you want to have like a Zoom consultation with whatever experts at Magic Beans. Um, to fold it back open, both strollers back open, you pull this up first, that's the first thing you do. Um, in fact, there are these little red tabs to make you know that it's not ready to be pulled back open. That's a mistake that a lot of people make. They don't see the red tabs, but pull this open, and then you pull the handlebar up towards you, like that, and then what you do is you push those white things again, and it opens it up, right towards you, and give it a smush, just click down like that, and then it opens back up. There is an extendable canopy on the, um, on the end, but no peekaboo window on the black canopy. I think that there are peekaboo windows on other color canopies, but you should, I'll put that information in the description. So thank you, I, sorry. Anyway, the, um, let me show you the canopies. There are two peekaboo windows on the Bugaboo 6. Bugaboo 6, let me just open this up for you. You just push, pull it open like that. And there is a peekaboo window on when you don't have it in the extended position, but then when you extend the canopy, you also have a peekaboo window. They both hold up to 50 pounds. So those are big five, five year old children. And that is um, really a great thing because you can, it inc increases the longevity of these strollers. Um, I do a full review of the Bugaboo the Bug Movie 6 and the Bugaboo Ant on the channel. And so if you want to see the full, full review, I would suggest that you watch those videos right now. I will see you at the next video.